Hey everyone. So in this video, we're going to go over Q&A Maker here, which is part of the Microsoft Cognitive Services. And basically what it is, is as you see in the docs here, it is a cloud-based natural language processing service that allows you to create natural conversation layer over your data. So basically the service allows you to create question and answering based on the data that you already have. And most likely that data is going to be either a frequently asked questions page or maybe a public knowledge base that you may have on your website. Now note here that a newer version of this is available as a part of the language services, uh, but I think going over the Q&A maker is still, still useful. It still works quite well. Some of the same things that you can do in this service, you can do in Q&A maker. All right, uh, so first things first is we're going to create our Azure resource. So we're going to create a new resource and then I'll just type in Q&A and we'll do Q&A maker and then create. And like usual, we have to give it a resource group and then give it a name. So I'll do a IKEA fact demo. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to use the IKEA frequently asked questions page as the data for my Q&A maker service. All right, so we got the location, we got a pricing tier and we have a free version which is uh, great for like proof of concept or demo purposes. So I'm going to use that. And you need an app service for it. And you give it a name and a location here. It fills that out by default. And I'm going to disable app insights for now. Then I'll create that. All right. And then we'll wait for that resource to deploy, which shouldn't take too long. All right, so that succeeded. So we go to the resource. And we got the usual stuff here. Uh, we have API keys and all if you want to do that, but mainly I'm going to use this Q&A maker portal here. So I'll go through there and this portal allows us to create our, our knowledge base. So step one is to create the service in Azure, which is what we already have done. And now we can connect a service to a knowledge base. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to find that service that we just created, a key effect. All right, and then we select our language here, which is going to be English. Now we can name our knowledge base. So we just name it IKEA. And now we need to populate our knowledge base and we can pass in a URL, our URL here. And so I'll just use the IKEA fact URL. And we can also add a chit chat ability to it. And the chit chat is a way we can give our bot a little bit of more personality to it. And we can add a professional, friendly, witty, caring, or enthusiastic kind of personality to our bot. I'll just leave it as none for now, and I'll click create knowledge base. And this may take some time to extract because if we go down to our page that we're using, we have quite a bit of question and answers for it to extract. All right, so that finished up, and we can see we have our questions on the left side of our column, and then the answers on the right side. And we can check real quick that it looks like it extracted everything pretty well here. Right now, we can go ahead and save and then train our knowledge base. And what this is going to do is it's going to kind of train a model based on our pairs here. And then up here, we can test it real quick. So here real quick, I can uh, type in uh, how to check stock availability. There we go. And we see the, this text should match up to this text in this column here. So what if we want to kind of expand onto this? Well, we can add our own Q&A pair. So we do uh, just something real quick. Uh, this is a question and then we can add an answer here. If you notice up here, we have an ever rich text editor. So we have all these items up here. So for this answer, I'll say this is an answer. And then I'll also do an emoji, a smile emoji here. So I do that, and you see this is a new one. We'll save and train this one, and then we'll test it real quick. So we said this is a question, and it said this is an answer with our emoji as well. All right, so now that we have our Q&A maker uh, service up and running here, what all can we do with it? Well, the first and probably main thing is you can actually hook this up to the Microsoft bot framework. Uh, but we'll do that for later. For right now, we can use this within the API. And to do that, we first need to publish our 
Codename Maker Service. And so up here to publish, I'm going to click publish. There we go. And it actually gives us some examples on how we can call the REST API within Postman here. And then through curl, I'll use Postman. And I have it up here. I'll create a new item. And this kind of shows you how you can make a Postman call. So we take the host. That's going to be the first part of our URL. And then this post item. And add it right there. The next thing we do is put in our authorization. So I'll do API key. Uh, we'll say authorization as the key. And then the value is going to be what we have right here. Right, so I'll just paste that in there. And then we need to set the content type header to JSON. So we add that here. Content type. And for our body, we're going to say it is raw JSON. And for the simplest of API calls, all you need is this question. And then the value is going to be what your question is. So we say this is a question. And then we'll send it on. Oh, and we need to make sure this is a post as well, not just a get. There we go. So we got our question, this is a question, and then our answer. Is this is an answer with the smiley emoji and we get a score so that's 100 percent and then some other metadata on there all right so that's a pretty quick introduction to the q a maker service uh, we'll go through some more items such as the microsoft bot framework and maybe some other features of the api in future videos all right thanks for watching and i'll see y'all next time